Hey guys, I hope you all are safe, healthy and happy wherever you are and I really hope whoever watches this video understands something out of it. So in this video, we are going to talk about laryngeal cavity. Objectives are the following, being the extensions, boundaries, folds, subdivisions and applied aspects. So let's start with its extents. This laryngeal cavity extends from laryngeal inlet to cricoid cartilage. This laryngeal inlet opens into laryngopharynx and ends in the lower border of cricoid cartilage that follows the trachea. Next is the boundaries, anteriorly epiglottis which is a leaf shaped cartilage, posteriorly is the interarytenoid fold. Laterally is the array epiglottic fold along the margins of epiglottis. Now we move on to mucous folds, which is of two parts, namely the vestibular fold derived from vestibular ligament, vocal fold derived from vocal ligaments. The false vocal cords or vestibular folds, true vocal cords or vocal folds. Two spaces exist between these folds, that is rima vestibuli between vestibular fold and rima glottidis between vocal folds. Now let's talk about the importance of these spaces. Rima vestibuli helps in holding the breath, prevents food from entering larynx, allows air during inspiration, while rima glottidis helps in adduction and abduction of vocal cords, acts as entry valve, acts as phonation and voice box. Now let's talk about its subdivision. It's divided into three parts supraglottic or the vestibule, glottic or the ventricle, and infraglottic part. This supraglottic part extends from epiglottis to the vestibular fold, glottic extends from vestibular fold to the vocal fold, and infraglottic extends from vocal fold to the lower part of the cricoid cartilage. The glottic part shows a narrow diverticulum between the vestibular ligament and the lamina of thyroid cartilage called SACU which provides lubrication to the vocal cords and hence called as the oil tank of larynx. Now towards the last part of this video that is the applied aspects which are the following laryngeal obstruction, laryngeal seal, laryngeal cancer, laryngeal militia. Laryngeal obstruction is nothing but a condition in which person experiences continuous choking due to entry of foreign body into larynx. This can be corrected only by Hamlisch maneuver method which is nothing but abdominal thrust upwards and backwards which results in expulsion of the foreign body. Laryngeal seal is dilation of sac cube of larynx. Laryngeal cancer, laryngeal militia is nothing but softening of the laryngeal tissues which causes noisy breathing in infants. This brings me towards the end of my video. I hope you liked it and if you did, please like, share and subscribe. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you. Bye-bye.